Hello everyone, welcome to the ITvideos.com. This is going to be a video training series on the topic MVC test right models, views, and controllers. We are going to start from scratch and I will take you through this MVC training step by step, all the way from installing MVC to implementing MVC and showing you how it can be used in real world projects. Stay tuned and join me in the MVC video training series. All right, here we are. Before we can start using MVC, MVC 2 or 3 or 4, we would need to install the MVC first. So here on my computer, I have Visual Studio 2010 and Visual Studio 2012. So if I open a Visual Studio 2012, uh, you'll see shortly that it has uh, MVC so if I click on new project, so as you can see it has MVC3 and MVC4 web application because uh, MVC4 comes built in with Visual Studio 2012. You don't have to install it separately. So if I, so if I just leave this open, if I go back to Visual Studio 2010 and I'll show you in a moment once this opens up. If I go straight to a new project so you can see it has MVC 2 but not MVC 4 what if you want to use MVC 4 in Visual Studio 2010 so let's go about installing Visual Studio uh, MVC 4 in Visual Studio 2010 just in case uh, you're using Visual Studio 2010 uh, so what you can do is that you can go to Firefox Firefox being one of my favorite browsers is going to type ASP.NET MVC4 and I'll take you through the steps so see with Visual Studio 2012 you're not getting an option to download MVC4 because it comes built in but with Visual Studio 2010 you have an option to download MVC4 through a web platform installer so let's go ahead and click that i accept and install the click on the accept and install button i'm going to click on save to download this to my uh, computer i have already downloaded this so anyway i'm just going to uh, override that and uh, so that has now been downloaded so if i click on this thing and just execute the installer it's going to fire up the web platform installer and uh, install that now before I click on the install button I'm going to show you uh, what I have in my uh, programs and features so I'm going to click on the start button and say programs and features and if you if I scroll down as you can see I have ASP.NET MVC 3 and ASP.NET MVC 2 but I don't have MVC 4 and that's what we are going to do we are going to install MVC 4 for Visual Studio 2010 I'm, I know this is uh, an older version but just for demonstration purposes I'm going to show you how to install MVC 4 so I'm going to minimize this and uh, so this is MVC 4 this is the installer that I have so I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, install before I do it's here look at the option that we get here it says items to be installed if I go ahead and click on this one so it tells me uh, this is what uh, this is the file that will be uh, downloaded and installed so I'm going to close this one and click on the install button I accept all right, so it says I would need to close the instances of Visual Studio. That makes sense. So let's go ahead and close both Visual Studio 2010, uh, 2012, and 2010. I'm going to close that, close that down. All right, so with that thing closed, I'm going to close that and try to click on the 
and it may take a little while to download the uh, mvc4 and install it so i'm going to pause the video and uh, come back once it has finished installing the uh, mvc4 installer so i'll see you in a moment all right so we are back and this has successfully installed mvc4 on my visual studio 2010 and as you can see everything was all good so i can go ahead and click on the finish button and uh, i can exit out of this so if i now go to my programs and features click on as you see there is no mvc4 here so if i right click and click on refresh it should show mvc4 for visual studio 2010 so if i scroll down and look for mvc the Microsoft ASP.NET that is okay sometime I always have to find where that is all right so it has now installed MVC4 as you can see the installation date that is today so this is looking good promising so now if I go ahead and click and uh, on my Visual Studio 2010 I should now see an option for MVC4 application. I'm going to go ahead and click on new project. And lo and behold, I see the MVC4 web application. So that was it uh, in this short quick video about installing MVC on uh, the Visual Studio environment. So to summarize, Visual Studio, the later versions of Visual Studio comes uh, packed with MVC versions, but the older versions may not have, and I have shown you how we can go about installing MVC. So, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments down below and hit like button if you like it. And uh, I will see you in the next series. Till then, goodbye.